us the world and brings the holiness of our love. Teach us us to raise our minds and hearts up into the Trinity and to fix our own our respect for the loving and changing. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail buildings that your charity is willing to show us. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the other's mystery until the day when our souls fully blossomed by the light of divine union, we will see all things in eternal love and unity. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come on then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people. <clears throat> the flock is shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me. All they had seen, all of my words. I endured a generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him.
Jesus Christ loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. Oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, and then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may thrill. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. Of your heart create for me, O oh God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice is a contrite spirit. A humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Birth offerings wholly consumed. When you will be offered young bulls on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Alleluia. The Son is able to help those who are tempted. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to <coughs> judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues <coughs> my secret soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your words. I muse on what your hand has wrought, 
and to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk, to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. In your love, make an end of my foes. Destroy all those who oppress me. For I am your servant, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Because he himself has suffered, the Son is able to help those who are We have passed out of death into life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned. For the rest of my years, I, I said, I shall see the Lord no more. In the land of the living, no longer shall I behold my fellow man among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night, you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. What am I to say or tell him he has done it? I shall go on through all my years, despite the bitterness of my soul. Those live whom the Lord protects, yours the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life, thus is my bitterness transformed into peace. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction. When you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O oh God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior, we shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, 
now and forever. We have passed out of death into life. I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. Hallelujah, my soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no hell. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is held by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but towards the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. <coughs> Amen. I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. First letter to the Thessalonians. If we believe that Jesus died and rose, God will bring forth with him from the dead those also who have fallen asleep, believing in him. I am the resurrection, I am the life. To believe in me means life, in spite of death, 
and all who believe and live in me shall never die. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, <coughs> from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I am the resurrection, I am the life. To believe in me means life in spite of death. And all who believe and live in me shall never die. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, you are the glory of believers and the life of the just. Your Son redeemed us by dying and rising to life again. Our brother, Mary Jack, was faithful and believed in our own resurrection. Give to him the joy and the blessings of the life to come. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us, and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the world, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of a Father, living by his life, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Abbotus, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit, Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.